thank you, choir, for that beautiful song. Well, I'd like to introduce you now to our preacher today, Doug Padgett. Doug is a national speaker. He's a writer. He's a pastor. He's got this wide imagination that you're going to have the opportunity to hear about today. I tell people all the time that Doug has this wonderful ability of taking tough topics, bringing people together to talk about it. And Doug, thank you so much for being here all the way from Minneapolis. Uh, Julio, so good to be with you all. Uh, hey, and I want to talk about a couple things. We are going to do this ride that that Julio mentioned, where we're going to ride our bikes from, at least I am, from San Diego, California, across the country to St. Augustine, Florida. I'm not a cyclist in, uh, in the rest of my life. I've become much more avid cyclist since deciding to bike across the country. Uh, I've had to buy a new bike for this. I've gotten into learning all the things about what it takes to, to do something like this. I'm not sure if I can do it. I'm not sure, you know, that I can bike this number of miles and, and make it work. It's a very aggressive schedule. We're going to do that along and as near to the U.S.-Mexico border as we can to bear witness to the experience of people. It's going to take us 67 days to do this. We'd love for you to come along on that. We call it the We the People ride. That phrase, We the People, is one that shows up in both the political spaces that's the phrase for the people of the United States, that it's a government of the people, for the people, by the people. And, uh, but it's also one of the phrases inside of Christianity, that uh, the practice of Christian community is referred to in Christian traditions as the work of the people, or the question of, is it all of us as the people, or is it just some of us? Al este del monumento por acercarse al Jardín Binacional. If our friends in Mexico can come toward the Binational Garden, you'll be able to see us. So right now, so right now, I'd like you to place your hands. I'd like you to place your hands outstretched, outstretched towards our friends across the border. Our friends across the border. Vamos a extender nuestras manos. Vamos a extender nuestras manos. A nuestros amigos. A nuestros amigos. Del otro lado de la frontera. Del otro lado de la frontera. Now I invite you to lift your hands now to the I sky. Now I invite you to lift your hands to the sky. And as we look at the sky. And as we look at the sky. We are reminded. We are reminded. That God's grace. That God's grace. Is greater. Is greater. Than the barriers we put the barriers in, its way. We put in its way. The thing I hear from most people, friends, strangers, when they hear what we're doing, is do you feel safe being near the border? You have very dangerous people who are involved in human trafficking drug trafficking, people that if you encounter, you don't know if you're going to walk away safely from. You should not have to face that danger in your community. A change is needed. And that tells you something, that this narrative that the border is dangerous, that the people crossing the border are dangerous. Well, that's because of the lie that's been perpetrated by Republicans and by anti-immigrant forces in these last four years, and especially by the former president. So, so many people, when they even see images, video of the border, it's of detention camps. It's always cages and wires and guards. I mean, it makes it look like a military zone. I will announce next week the plan for the state of Texas to begin building the border wall in the state of Texas. <laughs> government has chosen over multiple administrations to militarize the border. Who is the we when we say we the people? Who gets included in this? So we're here in the border of Arizona and Mexico and you can see that this border wall in this part of Arizona is a six foot high or shorter metal frame. It was referred to by the border patrol we just talked to as a vehicle barrier and you can easily step over it and step in to Mexico. The reason is because for 25 miles that direction, it's the desert. And the way we choose in this country to manage this part of the border is to make this desert so deadly 
that if anyone crosses here and tries to make it into the towns that are 25 or 50 miles away, they're gonna suffer in the desert. How people vote is really an outpouring of how they think about other issues in the world, how they think about their own identity for the most part. Talking about the issue of the border, border wall, border practices, and immigration generally. People of Christian faith tend to differ with the Republican Party's approach. They go along with it because it comes in the package deal of being a Republican, but they're not always happy with it. So many Christians that we had talked to had said they were stuck in so many situations where they just didn't know if they could hold their Christian faith and not hold a conservative political view. And that's a real problem. There's a whole group of people all over the United States who work in areas like this and they provide water and food and support. They call themselves Samaritans from the story of the Good Samaritan. And these are the, some of the groups that we're gonna be meeting and working with on the We the People ride as we travel from San Diego uh, along this border and uh, all the way to Florida to tell the story of immigration and border life. And it's all part of what we want to understand as we engage in conversations about what a common good border immigration and border practices would, would mean for us. There's not clear answers to that all the time and we haven't always answered that in ways that we're comfortable with in faith and in politics in this country. I, I'm, I come from the vantage point that says the systems that are created, they didn't just exist. Someone made them and people made them for certain reasons and for certain purposes. And if we made them, we can change them. I know that it's important we do this work and we get ourselves on the ground and close to the border as we can so that people will say, oh, there's another story that's possible.